Hello, I'm Heike Semmler, working for Evonik Resource Efficiency for the business line Coating Additives. Very well known for providing coating additives such as the foamers, wetting and dispersing additives and matting agents. I'm more than 20 years in the paint and coating industry, working as a senior manager for the market segment Decorative Coating, focusing especially on wood and furniture coatings. Here we cover all different technologies such as waterborne, sovereignborne and radiation curing system dedicated to the market segment wood and furniture coating. In my opinion, what is so special for wood and furniture coating is the substrate wood itself. It is a renewable material and has a natural beauty. If you look to mankind history, we have a very long relation to wood as a construction material. And it's naturally that we strive to protect the wood, for example, from environmental impact. Clearly we can see a technology shift from traditional solvent-borne coatings to more environmental friendly formulations such as waterborne or radiation curing systems. We in Europe, we have quite a long tradition working with this environmental friendly uh, formulations, but over the years more and more we can see that, especially in Asia, these technologies are gaining high market shares. At the very beginning of this technology shift, we could see that the end users accepted a certain, let me say, lower performance of these environmental friendly formulation to the former very well known solvent born formulations. But I think today this is no longer accepted by the end users because they expect really high performance coatings, for example, with excellent durability and resistance in combination with the environmental aspect. Beside this technology shift, we can also see that the fulfillment of yeah, regulations, certain labels or specific requirements are getting more and more into the focus of the wood and furniture coating industry. Clearly it is a challenge to fulfill the high demanding market needs of the wood and furniture coating industry. But alongside we can see that there is a certain supporting development from the raw material industry, for example in developing new binder technology or of course uh, new additives. For example, the mechanical resistance of a coating. By addition of so-called surface control additives, it is possible to modify the coating surface. For example, Tego Glide additives are able to orientate at the coating surface and here providing an additive layer with giving a certain scratch resistance. That's finally leading to a very nice mechanical resistance. Normally additives providing high slip and good scratch resistance have the drawback of poor recoatability. So that means it's very difficult to repair these coatings in a certain way. Honestly speaking, it's quite challenging to overcome this recoatability issue. Evonik has developed a new surface control additive providing slip and scratch resistance in combination with excellent recoatability. Um, Anti-crater effect, improvement in flow and leveling, alongside with low foaming behavior, are additional properties. The product is named Tego Glide 496 and can be used for a variety of coating technologies, such as solvent-borne, water-borne and radiation curing systems. The Tego Glide 496 will be introduced at the European Coating Show in Nuremberg, March 2019. If you're interested in more information about the product, more inside look on our technical results, a little bit about the chemical background, you're highly invited to join my presentation at the European Coating Show. And if you have additional questions, please feel free to contact me at our Ebonic booth.
Ivonic. Power to create.